What up, this your boy Deron Jones. You already know what you're listening to. 95.7 RB. Keep it locked, all right? Today. He's a member of the multi-platinum Grammy Award winning group 112. He's worked with some of the biggest names in the industry, including Biggie, Usher, Jamie Foxx, Kelly Price, and Keisha Cole. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Deron Jones. What's happening? How you doing, man? <laughs> Everything good. Welcome How you doing? Welcome to Virginia Beach, 95 Southern R&B. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you having me. Yeah. Today, man, you know, the nation and all of us around here are mourning the loss of a legacy. Yeah. Uh, the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. Yes, sir. A in your in your, in, in, in your time span, have you ever had occasion to cross paths with her or seen her perform in concert? Well, I didn't get a chance to, uh, you know, see her perform, but I, I've met her on a couple of occasions, like at a few uh, ceremonies like the Grammys and things of that nature. So I did get a chance to meet her, but I never got a chance to actually see her perform. So, yeah. yeah. But um, I just remember the first time I found out that she could like play the keys, and I heard I heard her playing and singing at the same time, and just all them gospel licks on the yeah, piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was like, at that point, I really became a fan. You know what I'm saying? Because it was before my time. You know, in a lot of different ways. Like my grandmother played the music around the house, and my mom did. But it was kind of before my time. But when I saw her sitting at the piano and playing, I was like, yo, she's like, she's a genius. I, and I and I had no idea. Yeah. I, I always loved the voice. But once I saw her playing the keys, man, I was I was done. I was like, wow. So I what started. impact has she had on you? Well, you know, I started, I study a lot of different singers. You know what I'm saying? And I, just as a singer, I study a lot of different singers. And I kind of, you know, pull what I like from a certain singer. And I, and I, I found something in her, like, there was like this passion that she had that was kind of soulful and gospel yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and and I think that it impacted me as far as the way that I would like to deliver certain songs yeah. as, as a vocalist. Yeah. And then, you know, listening to her play the keys, like when you playing the piano and singing at the same time, um, like hearing her play and sing, it made me want to get on the level of making the piano sound like something separate, making it sound like a whole another person was playing it. Because huh. it's easy to just play the piano and hit the chords and sing at the same time and stay on the rhythm. Okay. But when you're actually playing the keys and you're hitting the runs and you're singing, it makes it sound like some a whole other person is playing this piano. Really? And she kind of had that vibe. It was like, and Stevie had that vibe too. And so I was kind of studying her to, to, to channel that yeah. energy. Well, yeah. What's your favorite Aretha Franklin song of all time? Uh, Ain't No Way. Ain't No Way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I like... uh. I like You Lied, too, the song called. Uh, I think it's a different title, like the beginning of it, but the main chorus says You Lied. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really love that song. Now, there are plans for an all-star salute honoring uh, Aretha's legacy. If if you were asked to participate, what song would you like to perform? Uh, it would probably be Ain't No Way. I think that's my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, great song. Yeah, I love that one. All right, so, Deron, 112 was back again, now it's off again. What's the deal? Well, I think when you, when you a family like one twelve, we grew up in the same area. We went to the same school, and like I just, I just think with family you have you know your issues here and there, but yeah. you know time heals everything, and and hopefully, hopefully it'll work out. Like I mean, our fans have been following us for years, and this this is the first time that it has happened, <clears throat> but it is the first time that like a lot some of the private details of it has spilled over into the public, and and that's unfortunate, but. I mean, time heals everything, and hopefully, you know, in due time, everything will work out. Yeah, I hope so, man. You guys were incredible yeah. together. Thanks, But well, look, if there was a, another Bad Boys reunion tour, would you be down? Oh, yeah, I'm always down. <laughs> Real G's, <laughs> cheese, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always down. I'm always down, yeah. Uh, all right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, you check in at Palm Gardens tonight? Yes. For an album listening party. Yeah. Uh, the Unofficial Diary Volume 2 Tour. It's an all-white affair. Uh -huh. uh, talk to me about that. Well, the Diary of Deron Jones is basically a series of uh, cover projects that I created because I was just on the Internet and I was getting a lot of feedback and commentary from, you know, my followers. And everybody was saying that R&B needed to go back to the place where it came yeah, from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so I started taking requests online. So I would sing songs for people and then. It, it came from me singing songs to, man, you need to do the whole song because Instagram at this time only allowed you 30 seconds of video. Okay. So I would sing the song for the 30 seconds and it would cut off. And then like, people say, you should do the whole song. And so I started, you know, looking at my page and, and looking at the most requested songs. So it was songs by Donny Hathaway, uh, A Song For You, yeah, uh, Stevie yeah. Wonder, uh, All Is Fair In Love. So 
I created this project called The Unofficial Diary. So because this was the time when music sounded like a page out of your personal diary. And I did volume one and volume two. Okay. So it's basically a tribute, you know, to the greats that I grew up listening to. So Yeah. And now you got new music out as well. Yeah. And, and so so the diary too is basically a free project that's that's out now that you can go and stream on all different formats. But the music that I have out now are the two singles that proceed my album that's gonna be dropping real soon. And the first single was Say Something. And my second single right now is called Mind Your Business, and the album is called Human, Human. And, it, and it'll be out real soon. Real soon. Yeah. All right. Uh, what about your social media contacts? How can people get in touch with you, Darren? Yeah, you can hit me, Deron from 112, on, on Instagram. And and from Instagram, you can pretty much get everything you need. I'm, I'm like one of the most active people on social media you'll probably ever meet. You might unfollow me, I'm so active. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might be like, yo, you blowing up my timeline. Yeah. So what's next for you, Deron? We're, we're, I know you're going to New York City. Uh, yeah, we're going to. Uh, I'll be in New York pretty soon, and then, you know, I, I got a lot happening. But you know, you can follow me at Deron from 112 yeah. to kind of see see everything that I got going on. All right, my and man, Deron Jones details. at Palm Gardens tomorrow night. Yes, sir. All right, that's uh, 5927 East Virginia Beach Boulevard. Mm-hmm. It's an all white affair, but you don't have to wear all whites. They say they say. No, nah, you ain't got to wear, but we we prefer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got all white. I can do. It. I can rock it. Uh, yeah. But for tickets or more information, call 718-4881, 718-4881. Yes, sir. My man, Deron Jones. All right. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by. Hey, thanks for having me. I want to shout out my girl, Empress Jovelle. You know what I'm saying? Scandalous. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be in the building, too, so make sure y'all come through. We're going to have a blast. All right. Deron Jones, ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause. Hey.